Hey there, football fans! Today, we're going to take a trip down memory lane and look back at some of the most shocking and interesting facts about the 1970 Football World Cup. So grab a seat, sit back, and let's dive into the exciting world of football. First up, let's talk about the venue for the final, the Azteca Stadium in Mexico City. The Azteca Stadium sits at an altitude of 7,200 feet above sea level, making it one of the highest stadiums in the world. This high altitude had a big impact on the players' performance during the final match between Brazil and Italy. The players had a harder time breathing and running, which made it even more impressive when they managed to pull off some incredible moves and goals. Speaking of Brazil and Italy, let's take a moment to appreciate the amazing Brazilian team of 1970. This team is widely considered to be the greatest football team in history, and it's not hard to see why. With legends like Pelé, Jerzinho, and Carlos Alberto on their side, the Brazilian team scored an astonishing 19 goals in just six games. Their incredible skills and teamwork left a lasting impression on football fans around the world, and they're still talked about to this day. Now, let's talk about something that may seem small, but actually had a big impact on the World Cup, the first-ever color TV broadcast. That's right, the 1970 World Cup was the first to be broadcast in color, which helped to make the tournament even more popular and increased its global reach. Millions of people tuned in to watch the games, and it was a great way to bring people together and share the excitement of football. Moving on to some fun facts about individual matches, let's talk about Mexico's opening game against the Soviet Union. Just 60 seconds into the match, Mexico's Juanito scored an incredible goal from outside the box. The goal was a thing of beauty and is still considered one of the greatest in World Cup history. It set the tone for an exciting tournament and gave fans something to cheer about right from the start. Finally, let's talk about something that may seem mundane now, but was actually a big deal at the time, substitutions. The 1970 World Cup was the first to allow substitutions, and the first substitution in World Cup history was made during the match between Mexico and El Salvador. Mexico's Javier Valdivia came on as a substitute in the 38th minute, replacing injured forward Arturo Chairs. This may not seem like a big deal now, but it was a major change to the game and allowed teams to adapt to injuries and changing conditions on the field. So there you have it, folks, some of the most interesting and shocking facts about the 1970 Football World Cup. From the high altitude of the Azteca Stadium to the incredible skills of the Brazilian team, this tournament was a true highlight of football history. Thanks for joining me on this trip down memory lane, and I hope you learned something new today.